parents will be getting lots of kicks out of asking me why their child doesn't want to play a team sport when the rest of the kids in the neighborhood do. Well, let me step up to bat, so to speak, and provide some information on this topic. Team sports can be very beneficial to children. They improve their fitness, improve their coordination, improve their self-esteem, even help them with communication and working with others. But there are some kids that just don't want to play a team sport. So the name of the game is to try and figure out why. It may be you got your child started too early in playing a sport. Maybe that they just don't have the coordination yet or don't have the attention span to learn the sport. The average time the kids start to learn a team sport is about age six to seven years of age. It may be that they don't have the skills yet in place compared to other kids. So parents, be supportive. Take your child out to the playground, to a field, to practice kicking a soccer ball or throwing or catching a baseball before you have them interact with other children. It may be that they just don't like the coach who may be too focused on winning at all costs rather than teaching fun and fundamentals as your kids get involved with a team sport. Well, parents, check out the team before you put your child on it. Talk to the Parks and Recreation League. Talk to the coaches to understand what their philosophy of play is all about, particularly with younger kids, since competition shouldn't really rear up until ages 10, 11, and 12. Finally, it may be that you enjoyed playing a team sport and put your child in it, but they don't want to play that sport. Well, sit down and talk to your child and make sure that he or she wants to play the team sport. And if not, see what sport they might be interested in. It might be an individual sport like cycling, running, or skating, or it may be no sport at all. And even then, be reassured, parents, that your kids can still be fit with one hour of unstructured free play outdoors, or even helping you with some active tasks around the house, such as raking the leaves as we go into fall, or perhaps even helping to walk the dog, so that hopefully, Tips like this will provide some active solutions to make sure your child is active even if they don't want to play team sports. This is pediatrician Dr. Lewis First from Vermont Children's Hospital of Fletcher Allen reminding you to always be first with your kids.